Okay, so I've moved Zoomy's location to be more in line with where the other robots are. Um, today's Zoomy lesson is going to be gyroscope. Uh, we did the intermediate driving commands the prior time. So this time we're going to do the gyroscope. Uh-oh, I think I pushed the wrong one. Yeah, no, I got it. Okay. So the gyroscope is when you made your remote control, that was several lessons ago. Zoomy turned left or right using the number of degrees that you gave as a parameter. How does Zoomy know how many degrees she is term turning? Zoomy is equipped with an MPU or motion processing unit and has two very important sensors that are necessary for driving straight and making accurate turns. The gyroscope and accelerometer. This lesson is about the gyroscope. You'll learn about the accelerometer later. What is a gyroscope? When you think of a gyroscope, you may be thinking of a mounted spinning wheel that stays balanced in the same orientation no matter which direction you turn or flip the gyroscope. How? This can be explained by conservation of momentum. While you may not have heard of this term before, you have experienced Sorry, this. This doesn't mean anything to me. Okay, Jeeves, it's all right. <laughs> For example, if you've ever spun around in an office chair, you probably notice that you spin faster when you bring your arms and legs in, since momentum, me momentum has to be conserved. Your speed increases when you bring your mass, arms, and legs closer to you. In electronics, gyroscopes don't look like this. They are tiny clips that, are used, that use motion to detect changes in orientation. For robotics, this is a device that measures rotation speed. Gyroscopes are important because we need rotation speed to calculate how many degrees Zoomy has turned in a given amount of time. So we're going to load her libraries like typical, which I had previously done, but I'm going to do again. So we're going to load her libraries. This, for some reason, I don't know why her eyes disappeared. It did before on this lesson. I think that this lesson, oh, the, the screen equals screen. That's because we want to see something on her screen, which will find out about here shortly. There is more than one axis that you can use to measure rotational speed. The axis you will be most concerned with is yaw, or measuring turns to the left and right. You can also measure if Zoomy is tilting forward and backward or tilting left and right. These three axes are called roll, pitch, and yaw. So roll is side to side, pitch is forward and backwards, and yaw is right to left. There are three codes below reading all three axes, X, Y, and Z. Run each one and check Zoomy's screen to see how the angles are affected. Can you match X, Y, and Z with roll, pitch, and yaw? Make sure you start the code with Zoomy flat on the ground before picking her up. So the first one is the X angle, which is the roll. So we're going to run, wait a second, I gotta run the code. So we're gonna run the code once we're in the block. Gotta make sure I'm in the block and then I push run. Okay, so it'll see zero. And so I'm gonna pick her up. Wait a second. Here we go. Okay, so this is side to side. So you can see when she goes this way, it's positive numbers. And when she goes that way, it's negative numbers. I'm gonna run it again because it, it has a time limit that it runs and it took me a moment. So these are positive and these are negative. Okay. Uh, how long does it run? Okay. Next one is forward and backward. We're gonna run it. And then it starts with zero. Forward is this, is positive. Backwards is this, it's negative. Okay. And it should be writing itself. I don't know why it's still showing negative. It's not negative anymore, but okay. Okay, that was the Y angle. And then the Z angle is left and right. And so we're gonna run this again. And it starts at zero and we're gonna turn her right which is negative. We're going to turn her left, 
which is positive. Okay. Based on the data, could you figure out which correspond to X, Y, and Z? Yeah, Z is yaw. Or zoomy, so for purposes of driving, you'll care most about the Z axis or yaw of Zoomy's gyroscope. Calling Zoomy read Z angle will return the number of degrees you have turned from where you started your code. You will be using this in later programs. Here is an example of getting the yaw value using read Z angle. I don't see the angle. Oh, it's in the next where you got to reset the gyroscope. You may, may have noticed a function at the beginning of each code cell reset gyro. This function will set all angles for roll pitch and yaw back to zero. Returning zoomy, sorry, running zoomy equals zoomy will always do this for you, but if you ever need to reset your angles later in your program, you can use this function. Okay, so we're going to run this one. Do run. And then we're going to do this again. And then this. Why it's... <laughs> I don't think it's... I don't think I did it right. But anyway, a okay, so absolute angles, which are much more useful here. In the previous lesson, you made shapes by using relative angles. This means when you call Zumi turn left 30, for example, Zumi will turn 30 degrees no matter which direction she is currently facing. However, this is not a good way to keep track of our heading or the direction we are pointing. Think about how we use north, south, east, and west to keep ourselves from getting lost. In the previous section, you learned that when you call the Zumi object or run reset gyro, Zumi will reset all gyroscope values to zero. Think of this action as resetting your north. So you learned about Zumi, Zumi turn left, Zumi, Zumi turn right. But now it's time to introduce a new function. To use absolute angles, call Zumi turn. See the diagram below to understand how this works. In this case, zero degrees is north, 90 degrees is west, 180 degrees is south, and 270 degrees is east. Similarly, negative 90 degrees is east, 100, negative 180 degrees is south, and negative 270 degrees is west. North is always zero. You will use the posi sorry, you would use the position va positive values to turn to the left and negative values to turn to the right. As you could see in that earlier one, negative was right. Now with your no new knowledge about using absolute heading as you would use a compass to get around the neighborhood, write code for driving a in a square that uses the turn function. Imagine you are giving Zoomy directions in this way. Go north for one block, go west for one block, go south for one block, go east for one block. Uses the images ab above to help you. Start by going forward, then changing your heading by using turn. Okay. So we're going to write, I already wrote the code. Basically, it's pretty simple. And I actually did both a, a positive leftward uh, value square and then a negative rightward value square and with the sleep between. So I'm going to run this code. I want to get Zoomy set up back, back where it was here, there. Okay, so I got to reset her because she's got this prior stuff going on. So I'm going to reset using the initial library that I had, uh, which was th this, this library. Just going to reset her. Run that so that she resets. Her screen's blank. Um, so I'm actually going to get rid of that value because I don't want her screen to be blank. So let's run it again. Okay, her screen's to blank. Okay. I guess once her screen's blank, you're not gonna get it back. Let's see if I can get it back. Oh, uh, we'll worry about it later. We, we like Zoomy's little eyes, but maybe I'll not import the screen function. Run it again, sorry. All right, well, I don't know. 
I don't know what I'm doing. Let's go back. I want to set it down for a second. We'll watch Zoomy while I undo what I did because probably I shouldn't have done that anyway. So we'll put it back to the what it was before and I'll rerun it because I think that she's actually going to tell us maybe I can't remember if she's going to tell us what she's doing when I run this code because I tested it once but anyway here's the code again and so let's start start it I'm going to run it now and we'll see it and that was okay now she's going to go back to north and now she's going to go negative which is right and do the same square At the end, she goes back to zero. I'll, I'll figure out for next time how I get her eyes back. But like I said, they, they ch reset the screen to, to blank so that we could see the, um, the number values on her screen. But I'd like to have seen her eyes instead. All right, so she did a square again with uh, absolute values. And um, we'll learn some more stuff next time. That was her gyroscope. Hopefully you had some fun. Bye-bye with me, Zoomy. And one of these times in very, very uh, short future, hopefully within the next month, I will have Romo. I'm going to try to get RoboMe working. Romo, RoboMe, Zoomy, Vectors, not Cosmos, because Cosmos are uh, app controlled, um, and have them all do a little bit of driving around. And eventually they're going to do a race. So we're going to get to see them all together. So that's going to hopefully be pretty cool. Take care. Bye-bye.